Hi everyone, welcome to Visaya Word of the Week series. My name is Judy, so I'm just using my phone for now because uh, I don't want to set up the camera. <laughs> I feel lazy actually. Visaya Word of the Week lesson for today is about Ka versus Nimo. Nemo. So I receive an email from Mr. Sir Marius Peterson. He said, Hi Judy, hope you are well when you re read this email. I understand the main concept of the personal pronouns, but I am still a bit confused when to use ka and nemo. Is there any easy explanation understanding the difference when using ka versus nemo? Okay. Marius Peterson, if you're watching, hi, thank you so much for your email. Okay, so let me um, give you some points so uh, and then I'll break down these points one by one so that it will be easy for you guys to understand. So I am pretty sure it's not just Sir Marius who is confused. I know a lot of you out there are confused as well on how to use the ka and nemo. Okay, so let's start with ka. Okay, ka, it's a focus marker. Okay, if you have not watched the personal pronoun video, you must watch that. And then you come back here. So, you use ka when you are addressing um, directly to the second person. Okay, so it's an act of focus. You want to know, you, if you're asking question, you're asking question about the person's um, location, direction, nationality, or what he or she is doing to so use ka instead of nemo okay and then when you are using superlatives like pinaka or kina you use ka also okay and then so let's break that down okay sample sentences for ka um number one asking for nationality for example filipino ka filipino ka americano ka Okay, you don't say Americano Nemo <laughs> because if you say Americano Nemo, it will give you a different meaning. It could be, uh, uh, it's like uh, Americano Nemo, it means like uh, your American lover, sort of like that. So you must be very careful when you use um, these two, Ka and Nemo, because it will give you different meaning. Okay, I'll talk about more of that at the, um, at the later part of this video. Okay, next. Um, first, um, uh, next is asking for his or her location or direction. Okay. Asaka. Okay. Asaka. It means where are you? Naaka sa balay. Naaka sa balay. Are you home? Are you at home? Okay. Next, padung ka sa. Okay, it's a, it's a question. It's a short question. Padung ka sa. It's like going to where? Okay. So that's um, when you're asking for location or direction or where this, the person is going. Next, um, asking for decision. Mm. Like for example, if you're inviting a friend, you will ask, Maka addu ka? Like can you come to blank? Can you come to my birthday? Can you come to the party or wedding? Maka addu ka? And then next is, um, another sample is, Sigurado ka? Sigurado ka magpakasal ka niya? Um, are you sure you'll marry him or her? Okay. Pakasal is to get married. Okay. Sigurado ka. Sigurado is sure. Are sh to be sure. Okay. Next is asking he or she's what he or she's doing. Like, um, like how are you? Kumusta ka? Okay. And then another one is nagunsa ka. Like what you are, what are you doing? Okay, so those are example sentences. So it is actor focus. Again, it is actor focus. You want to know about the person's um, whereabouts and just about the second person. Okay, because the first person will be you, and then the second person is the person you're talking to, and then the person you're talking about is the third person, right? The car is focused directly on the second person. Okay, now let's go to the superlatives and how to use car. Like um, one example here, uh, I have a few examples here. We have pinaka guapa ka sa tanang babay. Okay, pina ka, pina is actually like uh, the most superlative most in English. Okay, pinaka guapa. You know guapa, right? Guapa means beautiful or pretty. 
Kasa tenang babae Sa tenang of all babae is women Okay, babae is women Pinakagwapa ka sa tenang babae You are the most beautiful woman of all okay. Next Pinaka maldita ka nga amiga Pinaka maldita ka nga amiga Okay, you're the meanest of my friends Okay, meanest girlfriend Okay, pinaka maldita ka nga amiga Next Kina, okay, let's go to Kina. Okay, Kina nindutan ka mo kanta. Kina nindutan ka mo kanta. That means you are the best singer. Okay, you, you're one, you're, you're the best singer of all the contestants, for example. Kina nindutan is the best. Okay, mo kanta is to sing or singing. Okay, next some example is Kina dak an ka ug kita. Kinadakan ka ug kita. Kinadakan is biggest or highest. Okay. Um, the O here is actually a connecting word. Kita and kita are two different words. Okay. They have different meanings. <laughs> meanings. Kita, 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 kita. Okay. Kita. Okay. Kita is like um, there's a drop in the middle. Kita, kita means um. Your sales, okay? That's um, your sales or uh, the amount of money you're earning. And then, kita. Kita. Kita, it's us. Okay, kita. Okay, I have to repeat that. Kita, sales. Kita, us. <laughs> okay. So, you have to um, constantly... Um, indulge yourself into listening in the language, as one dialect, to really um, spot the difference. I would say, okay. So kinadak an ka o kita, you have the highest sales. Okay, so that's how you use ka in superlatives. Pinaka and kina. Okay, now let's go to the Nemo. Okay, Nemo is a non-focus marker. Okay, referring to position when attached to a noun. So I'll give some examples of that uh, just a few minutes from now. And then if the person is the do doer of the action. And then next is use Nemo when uh, in using a superlative pagka, which is a shortcut of ka. The ka here is actually different from the personal pronoun ka. Like, the personal pronoun ka, which is the actor focus. Okay, that's different from the shortcut pagka. Okay, it's just a shortcut. Again, Cebuanos like to shortcut words, so don't be... Um, try... Yeah, again, try to soak. Listen a lot of, um, of my videos. Use when referring to a third person person okay sometimes sometimes okay I mean, i'm just gonna show it to you so let me give you some examples let's go to uh the first one when referring to pos uh, referring to position when attached to a noun so one example is diara lapis nemo okay it's like here's your pencil diara lapis diara lapis nemo it's like maybe um you're returning the pencil to the second person diara lapis nemo here's your pencil and then the lapis there is the noun and then right after that is Nemo. And then Inahan Nemo, your mother. Okay. So if you say Inahan ka, that means um you are a mother. Okay. You are a, a mother if you say Inahan ka. Inahan Nemo means your mother. I mean your your mom. Okay. So, again, you have to be very careful because it will give you different meanings, okay? Now, if um, you use Nemo, if it's a, the doer of the action, okay? The person is a doer of the action. Okay, we have this. Um, one example is, Giunsa Nemo. Giunsa Nemo. Um, in English, how did you do it? Giunsa Nemo. How did you do it? Did you do it? The next one is Mauli Nimo Aku Ang Phone. Okay, Mauli is to return from the root word Uli. Mauli is to return Nimo. Aku Ang. Aku Ang there is my, my phone. Okay.
Okay, a kuang phone. Okay? So, will you be able to return my phone? Mauli ni mo ako ang phone? Because it's a question. Will you be able to return my phone? Okay, there. Okay, that's the doer of the action. Next, uh, use with superlative pagka, shortcut ka. Okay, absolute superlative use in exclamation. So, these are when you are using the exclamations, uh, expressions. Okay. So, we have here, pagkagwapa baya ni mo. Okay, you... It's actually sar uh, a sarcastic expression, okay? Pagkagwapa ba yan ni mo? Okay? Pagkagwapa ba yan ni mo? It's a bit um, agitated and at the same time sarcastic expression. Okay? Maybe you committed a small mistake and then uh, the other person is a bit annoyed. So he or she would say, uh, Pagkagwapa ba yan ni mo? So why did you do that? So sort of like that, okay? So, pagkagwapa ba yan nimo is um, you're beautiful in English. Okay? It's another way of, it's a lighter way of saying, what the, what the stupid thing for you to do? <laughs> sort of like that. Okay. Uh, next, what a stupid thing for you to do or what a fool of you? Sort of like that. Okay, so now let's proceed. Kagwapa nimo oi. Kagwapa nimo oi. You're really beautiful. This one is not sarcastic, okay? Kagwapo ni mo'y. It's like you are complimenting the woman. Okay? Kagwapo ni mo'y, okay? It's like, wow. It's like you look different today. You look fantastic. Sort of like that. Okay, next we have kadato ni mo. Kadato ni mo. It's like you are saying the, uh, that the person is very rich. You're very rich. Kadato ni mo. Okay. Okay, me, I am not dato. <laughs> <laughs> Just a middle citizen, I would say. Kabuli ni mo good. Kabuli ni mo good. You're such a bully. Okay. Kabuli good ni mo. Okay. Kabuli ni mo good. So use ni mo. Okay. You still, you are referring to the second person. But then, um, it's not. Once you use the pagka shortcut, you use this ni mo instead of ka because it's maybe because there is already ka at the beginning so you don't use ka guapa for example ka guapa ni mo oy. you don't say ka guapa ni mo ka because it doesn't sound logical it sounds funny actually ka guapa ni mo oy should be the correct one okay not ka guapa ka ka guapa ka oy <laughs> no that's wrong okay next we have okay they differ in context again i have to repeat this again and again because you if you um say a diff if you use the ka animo the wrong way you will give a different meaning okay here's some examples we have um the in kagibutang where were you placed okay and then the in nimo Gibutang, okay? It could be the ini mo siya gibutang. You are still referring to a person because there is siya. Siya is um, he or her, okay? I oh, know not her or him, sorry. Her or him. The ini mo siya gibutang. I mean, where did you place her or where did you place him? Okay, the ini mo gibutang. Where did you, if you're referring to a thing, the ini mo gibutang, which means uh, where did you put it, Okay. The in is where Nemo I and mean, the second person you're asking the second person and then Gibutang is place. Okay. Next one. Tig unsaka ni Judy. Okay. The ka here is the actor focus. Okay. The second person is the actor focus. That means um, how are you related to Judy? Next one. Tig unsa ni mo si Judy. So, in this sentence, you are, we are actually talking about the third person. So, the third person is the focus here, which is Judy. Okay? So, um, I hope you can see the difference between the two. Okay? Tigunsa kani Judy, that means, how are you related to Judy? And then the second sentence is, Tigunsa ni mo si Judy, what is your, what is your relationship with Judy? Okay? And then sort of like that. So, what's your relationship with Judy? So, we are talking about Judy, but not you. Okay, okay next we have um, Lapis ka? Are you a pencil? Lapis nimo, your pencil. 
Okay, I hope you get that now because that's a very simple phrase. Um, next, giunsa ka? What happened to you? Giunsa nimo? How did you do it? Okay, so we have the same giunsa, but then once you use the ka, it says what happened to you. But then when you use nimo, how did you do it? Okay, that's so I hope from here you can already um, get the gist on how to use ka and nimo. Nemo, okay, so obviously they differ in context. Okay, yep, I think that's all I can share about ka versus nemo. And um, if you have anything to, if you have anything to add, if you have any to clarify, or if you have anything to correct from my explanation, please do so in the comments. It's very okay for me. For you guys to comment to ask questions to answer questions from somebody else let's make the comment section like a forum okay just make sure that you are in line with the topic okay with a YouTube topic uh, video so that everybody will be in the same page okay will be on the same topic so um, I know a lot, some of you have done that already so I encourage everyone to do that and I am just around I am reading all your comments and I sometimes butt in I also comment so let's make the comment section like a forum okay that will be great uh, for everyone because for sure it's not just uh, if you have questions for sure you're not alone out there okay you there will be other somebody somebody out there who who has the same question as you okay and once um once your question is in the comments and then they will read it and definitely i will answer and maybe some uh, um subscribers also would answer so that will create a small community for us um students okay for for everybody who are trying to learn the language okay so i think that's all for now and i hope it's very clear on how to use ka and nemo if you want to download the pdf files please go to sub111.blogspot.com don't forget to sign in and once you are signed in and subscribed to my youtube channel um, in order for you to access the files over and over again do not lose the confirmation email because the link is there in order for you to go back okay comment like share subscribe whatever you want and i hope to see you again next week wednesday or thursday philippine time and thank you so much for your time today bye bye for now